Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by once again to our podcast. We are TEI Landmark. I'm Tori. I'm Mark. How are you doing, Mark? I'm fantastic. Awesome. Do you any do, in, do anything special over the last week or so? Oh, geez. Uh, I, you know, it, things turn out, uh, they, they go the direction you're supposed to go. So it was... Uh, <laughs> It was this past weekend was a was a wasted weekend, but uh, but uh, you know you move on, you live, you learn. I had I, I had grandiose plans. I was gonna take take time off. I was gonna I was gonna have my wife drop me off. I'm gonna float down the river. I'm gonna do a little fly fishing and take it easy and have a lovely time and maybe you know a cigar. You know and just 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 enjoy life. And then you know the water pump in my car goes out and. <laughs> I spent two days under the car with wrenches, you know. I mean, how life happens that I way. I tell you, so, uh, yeah. you know, it didn't turn out as a plan, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. I spent the weekend trying to convince my husband that his idea for an in-ground swimming pool was awesome, but probably not the best timing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so anyway, enough about us. Let's go ahead and start to uh, uh, dig into something. Yeah, we have something brand new that we want to introduce. And by brand new, I mean brand I mean, hot. spanking the new. The plastic is still hot. These things came off the press. <laughs> <laughs> we just kind of like uh, uh, generated and uh, came up with this idea over the last couple of days. And we think that it's going to fill a, um, a much needed niche uh, with our library customers. And these are our... Um, um, maker bundle bags. So there are a lot of libraries that we're working with uh, that have jumped on board with our maker space in a crate leasing program, which is spectacular. Um, it has exceeded our wildest expectations so far as its popularity is concerned. And we would encourage you to give us a call and have a conversation about the maker crate in a leasing program uh, because it's spectacular. However, there are a lot of libraries that have been asking us about product that they might be able to circulate which are which can uh, contain within the makerspace program mm -hmm. that we have actually just pulled out and had them sit on their own. Exactly. Right. So uh, we currently have about uh, 12 uh, different um, maker bundle bags identified. Uh, we'll run through a couple of them with you today, but feel free to give us a call. We'll have a more in-depth conversation. Um, and as always, no sales pitch, just an opportunity to share that information. And our number is 800-850-850. 1701. You can speak with any of the service reps here at TEI and we'll be happy to fill you in on that leasing program. However, uh, we wanted to talk today about the uh, Maker Bundle in a Bag program uh, because A, it's a purchase program. Right. And there are many libraries that, due to city or county ordinances or board approval, you know, they're not allowed to lease, uh, but they still want to offer. Um, maker and STEAM initiative opportunities at their library. So we have come up with many very cost-effective maker and STEAM products that you can have an opportunity to circulate. And this is not only a good idea for circulating at your library, but um, our colleague Ann this morning actually mentioned to us that this would be an awesome fit for bookmobiles. Sure. All right. So this is a great way to get these products out to, you know, your more um, outstretched community members, as it were, so that they have an opportunity to participate as well. Um, the, the concept is pretty simple. Um, there are items that we currently have available on our website uh, for general purchase, but we package them in these heavy-duty canvas-backed zippered hanging bags uh, a great way to display these if you have a concern um, we might consider uh, setting up a clothing rack um, as we have suggested for our book bundles uh, that's a great opportunity you can also insert a dowel rod in one True. of your existing shelves uh, use an o-ring and an s-hook and uh, hang them up so the kids can actually see what they're getting into if you have pegboards Obviously, a pegboard hook will work here. Oh, that's an Just awesome like idea. It. I didn't think about pegboards. You're smart that's and pretty. Why, that's why I'm here. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, we wanted to review just a couple of them with you. But like I said, uh, this list will be ever growing. Uh, we currently have about 12 that are identified. So if you'd like more information on it, we're happy to share. Uh, and you can reach us also um, via email. And that's at podcast at TEI 
LandmarkAudio.com. Yeah, reach out. We'll give you good information. All right. So um, you, Mark, uh, were having a conversation with me a little earlier about the VR headsets. and I was. I was. I love my, my, my VR headset program on my phone. Um, um, I'm sure you're probably aware. If not, I'm going to make you aware that there is the ability to 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 whether it's using the merge cube in fact let's go with the, with the standard here we have, okay. we have we have a merge cube in here and what the merge cube will do is it'll, it'll allow you to uh to download uh free uh programs off the internet which which cover a broad spectrum of, of materials whether it is whether it is um, um planetary uh, representations in three dimension uh, in virtual reality, it could be the human body. It could be playing games. But with this merge cube, you are able to take the VR headset, mm -hmm. put it on, which I'm not going to do, uh, put it on, slide your phone in, and then with the program downloaded to your device, your phone, your your iPad, you're able to hold this in your hand and then project in three dimensions in virtual reality whatever the case may be whether like i said it's a planet it's a beating heart uh it is it is any numerous things uh using this and your and your and your and your your, your goggles one thing i have did before i learned about this is i have a program on my phone where i'm able to uh um, photograph uh in in 300 degrees start the program on my phone do a slow spin around and then when you drop your 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 phone into here put your goggles on you are immersed in a 360 degree representation of that panoramic picture on your phone that's very cool very cool and um, for those of you that are unaware of uh, the merge cube and the merge vr headsets they're pliable they're soft they're indestructive and these these headsets are amazing yeah. Uh, because they also are constructed of a very flexible material, makes them very versatile. They're so easy to clean. And one of the features on this particular VR headset that you don't find on most is the opportunity to adjust the width and the depth of the lenses so that you can adapt them to each individual user and get uh, a really clear and concise um, uh, it, image. It focuses them. Yeah, and, and amazingly affordable. Um, Many of the um, Maker Bundle bags that we've identified are less than 50 bucks, all right? Um, so, like I said, give us a call. We'll talk about specific products and uh, specific price points and see if there's something that might be an excellent fit there at your library. Um, another product uh, that is available um, for sale and also available in our, um, in our bundle bags here is the Architect Electronic Smart House. Awesome. Have you actually seen this yet? I have not. It is incredible because it's got all of these little building pieces, uh, not unlike um, um, the Legos and you know some of the old Erector sets and such. They all snap together, but it comes with all the little batteries and the connector pieces so that you can make um, uh, pulleys with elevator lifts. Um, it's got a little device on it that's sound activated. It sets off an alarm when you walk by. You can turn lights on. You can turn lights off. It's got draw bridges. Um, it is absolutely remarkable uh, some of the things that you can create with this particular product. And I love it um, for a couple of reasons. Um, the principal reason, of course, is because it is so creative. And it takes your basic building block style product and it elevates it with all <laughs> don't like that one anymore mark <laughs> uh, but it elevates it and um it uh it turns it into more of a uh maker or steam initiative based products because of all the little light up gadgets and moving pieces and everything that you have to go with it so this is exceptionally fun and uh, a great opportunity for a circulation item so the kids can actually take it home and work with it and and of course this probably goes without saying but uh, you don't necessarily have to circulate these outside of the library for those of you that may have a concern about that you can offer them for in-house use as well um, these, these are a perfect way to augment if, if you already have an established makerspace program these individual components are a perfect way to augment that. Right. And a great way to let the kids get involved 
um, outside of the library get involved in their own home uh, so that they're you know taking that information and uh, really delving into it on their own time using their own creativity uh, and getting them hopefully interested in the whole STEAM process which we know is so vital uh, for the education of the kids at this time. Excellent. So, um, and now through the magic of video editing, we have returned with our products all set up and the coffee having been cleaned up. <laughs> the leaning tower of product has been uh, put back up. Um, and um, uh, so, uh, uh, coming back um, to this remarkable new concept, like I said, we've got about a dozen um, of these bags identified for you. Um, we have a um, uh, an escape room game which mm -hmm. is a tremendous amount of right fun. Um, we've got um, um, Blocks Rocks, uh, mm -hmm. which is um, awesome for the cognitive thinking and special, spatial reasoning. And I had a conversation with a librarian the other day, and she's not using it um, just for the little ones. She also circulates them through the nursing homes um, because it's, yeah. you know, it yeah. really does help stimulate that cognitive thinking uh, process and, you know, help get those synapses firing. Um, we have um, we have the circuit maze, which is a fabulous game. Um, and it's got instruction cards for beginners all the way through expert. This is a lot more challenging than I initially thought it was going to be. Uh, the Sphero unit, uh, the little um, uh, ro robotic ball that has so many different purposes. Which programmable. We, exactly. Uh, drag and drop. Right. Um, so, and we featured that in a couple of our other videos. So that's just scratching the surface of the products that we currently have available for this program. And like I said, we're going to be adding uh, to this product line on a regular basis because we have discovered uh, that particular need and we want to make sure that we're the ones who are reaching out and being able to fulfill that need for our library customers. So that pretty much wraps up the general idea of what we wanted to communicate with you uh, today in regards to the uh, Maker Bundle in a Bag program. Uh, we, we do want you to know that you can feel perfectly comfortable in calling us and you will not get a sales pitch. Uh, that's not the way we work here at TEI. We want to have a candid conversation with you, uh, really try to ask the right questions, get quality information into your hands and let you make a decision that's best for your library. So uh, give us a call at 800-850-1701 and our email address is podcast at teilandmarkaudio.com. Awesome. We thank you very much for joining us again today. We are TEI, where we teach, engage, and inspire. We'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.